ARISE is a new NASA Airborne Science Mission. It stands for Arctic Radiation Ice Bridge Sea and Ice Experiment. And it's a mission to use an aircraft to go to the Arctic and study the effects of global warming in a region uh, that's really important. In the Arctic, the temperatures are warming about twice as fast as the rest of the planet. One of the impacts of the uh, warming in the Arctic is that vast amounts of sea ice are now melting every summer. We expect that clouds are also changing in the Arctic, but we don't know whether the clouds are going to offset or enhance the warming effect that we expect from melting sea ice. One of the biggest challenges with this new ARISE mission um, was pulling together all the emission objectives, the logistics, the aircraft, the data products, where we're going to deploy to in less than seven months, which is typically unheard of. You usually have over a year to do all of that stuff. So when I was assigned to lead the project in March, the idea was, Christy, we need everything pulled together to support an August deployment. Can you support this, this new mission? It didn't have a name yet. It didn't have specific science objectives. It didn't necessarily have an aircraft. So uh, we're using the, the Wallops NASA C-130 essentially because you know, it's a platform that is set up to support experiments. Um, it can take on a lot of different instrumentation. The four-engine turboprop plane provides more maneuverability for a lot of the wide breadth of science objectives that we want to do. Um, also, it's, it's available to support our science. So we only have seven months. It's an available aircraft. Can it meet our needs? Yes, it can. So we're going with it. One of the things I really enjoyed with working on Arise is this element of cooperation. I'm really proud of the team. I feel excited to be part of this mission. And most of all, the entire scientific community out there is really excited about seeing all of our new data sets for the first time.